Now we're going to learn all about channels in under three minutes. So let's head over to the left hand side of the screen. Just to the right of where you see the words world culture, we're going to hit the three dots and select add channel. I'm going to give this channel a name. I'm just going to call it Europe and I can give it a description, but I'm not going to do that here, but I can choose this drop down arrow and choose private and make it accessible to only certain students. So this becomes important for channels if you are going to use them for small group instruction or to have a private channel with a student who might need extra help. The blog post that accompanies this video has examples and ideas on how to use channels. Now that that is created, I'm going to select add and it's going to create a channel that will be a sub channel underneath general. Inside of Europe, I have almost all of the same things except for I do not have assignments or grades. I can add posts here, I can add files, but in files, I no longer have access to class materials. Everything I do here will be edited by anybody in the group unless I go to SharePoint and change those permissions. I also have access to our class notebook or a notebook within this channel, and I can add things like Flipgrid so that I can have a private Flipgrid with the students in that channel if I wanted. But one thing you might want to do here is choose the app or tab website. And if I choose this, I can add something like Seesaw and I can go to, and you must always add in HTTP and I'm going to choose Seesaw here. And if I save this, I can now have an access point directly to my Seesaw account. So if we're learning about Invictus, this takes us right to our Seesaw account straight from our channel in Microsoft Teams. And now when I come back out, Seesaw is one of the tabs that is in this channel. And that is channels in way under three minutes.